No matter what we're doing, we're always breathing. And so our breath is always right here. And we can always use an awareness of our breath as an anchor to help prevent us from drifting too far away from the present. And any time we do get distracted or our mind begins to wander, the next breath is always right there to help bring us back. And if we do start to get lost in or carried away by our feelings, thoughts, physical sensations, or anything else, no matter what we're doing, whether we're meditating or just going on about our everyday life, we can reconnect to the present at any time simply by tuning into our breathing. And so as we exhale, we can use the out-breath to help let go of wherever our mind has wandered to, just allowing that distraction to pass out of our mind as our breath passes out of our body. And then as we inhale, we can use the in-breath to help gather ourselves, reconnect to the present, and refocus our attention wherever we want it to be. As mindfulness teacher and Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh explains, feelings come and go like clouds in a windy sky. Conscious breathing is my anchor. And this applies to thoughts and physical sensations as well. They all come and go like clouds passing through a windy sky. And our breath helps us stay anchored to the present so that we don't let any of these clouds carry our mind away. And our anchor is never any further away than our next breath. And as we become more familiar with our breathing and accustomed to paying attention to our breath, our breath begins to function as a barometer of our mood. For example, if we're feeling tense or angry, our breathing often becomes short or shallow. Or if we're feeling anxious or nervous or excited, our breathing tends to speed up. And if we're feeling scared, we may even start holding our breath. And if we're feeling calm and relaxed, our breath tends to slow down and become deeper. And so, as we start to become more aware of how we're breathing, our breath helps us become more aware of our mood and how we're feeling. And this can help us notice as our moods start to shift, which is important because the sooner we notice that our mood has started to change, the more chance we have to do something about it before it's too late. And this can help prevent us from being pulled into some vicious cycle or downward spiral that leaves us feeling overwhelmed, at which point it's much more difficult for us to do anything to help ourselves feel better. For more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to try a mindfulness of the breath meditation, please click here.